If you're using your football and or fantasy football knowledge to invest and collect in football cards, it's very important that you pay attention to the new product release dates and the type of products that they are. So in today's video, I wanna share with you one new product that is coming out in the very near future that I think will affect the values of a current product. A lot of you are probably investing and collecting, including myself, so let's dig in. As we dig into this new release set from Panini, it's important for you guys to go ahead and smash that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification icon so you don't miss any action here on the quest. And if you like the video, you like the content we provide here, we'd really appreciate it if you hit a like button and shared it with a friend, someone who is passionate about the football card hobby and, and the NFL. So talking about new product release schedule, CardboardConnection.com is a good resource to look at 2021 football cards, product details, set checklist, product reviews, release dates, and a debut for the sport. 2021 Clearly Donruss Football puts the classic Donruss NFL style on acetate for the first time as a standalone set. Clearly Donruss, Panini's form of acetate trading cards. These are cards made on a type of plastic, and so a lot of them come clear. That is not supposed to look like that. That is just very poor quality control. Uh, the acetate cards don't hold the paint very well. The other ones that you'll see that are inserts that don't actually look clear, the card is still going to be an acetate card. It is going to be a chemical compound that they use to make these cards. So this product is set to release on March 23rd, 2022. And what's interesting that it is a dominant Donruss clearly products in acetate form of cards. And so you can see the base card here. This is of a veteran player though in Kyler Murray. So the acetate rookie from Donruss will have the rated rookie logo like we see from today's Donruss. And this leads me to think that uh, these acetate cards, if it's not for printing errors, they should they should ideally have a higher gem rate because it's harder to ding the corners of a plastic type of card than it is a cardstock card in my opinion. There is a 50 card rated rookie checklist in this set which is loaded with the top talent from this year's draft class. You've got clearly the rookie's autographs. It's another acetate form of card. And a lot of people I've seen like the acetate cards, and maybe that's because they do a grade better. Maybe that's because they just have a different texture, a different feel. They feel a little bit almost like a, a credit card or a kind of like a top loader type of plastic material. Then they have the insert clearly out of this world autographs and clearly rated rookies from 2017, which is very interesting. I'm not sure why they're doing this. Be on the lookout for autographs from some of the NFL's biggest stars, such as Patrick Mahomes, Dak Prescott, Josh Allen, and many more in an all new acetate version of their rated rookie card. So they're going back and making uh, 2016, 17, and 18, and probably 19 rookies, elite quarterbacks mostly, I'm imagining, in acetate form, and some of them are gonna be autographed. They're also gonna have an acetate gridiron marvels insert, which we know this is a one out of every third case. So this is gonna be incredibly rare and incredibly valuable card if you were to find one of these gridiron marvels, and it's gonna be on acetate base. There's also gonna be night moves, which is going to be incredibly rare insert as well. This is gonna be one in every third third case hit on average there's also going to be an acetate downtown and so this is a new insert that they've added to clearly donors it's just an acetate form so depending on how acetate catches on i've heard there's a there's a lot of fandom for it it could definitely deflate the value affect the value of your current 2021 donors rated rookie cards uh, fairly significantly if there's a lot of demand for these and demand shifts away from the base Donruss that'll definitely affect the value with this product set to release on March 23rd. So my question for you guys is do you own any 2021 Donruss cards rated rookie cards and how do you feel about this new additional set Panini is releasing this year on the acetate card? 
leave me a comment in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please leave me a like on this video. We'll see you in that next one. Peace.